All right, guys, this beast is the Bell Sports Catalyst 750 Bicycle U-Lock. Quite a title. They rate this uh, security level 5 out of 5, so Bell's top, top rating. Um, it's been living in my naughty bucket. I tend to agree with that rating because I, I was never able to get my Chinese pick up inside of here. It's almost like a tiny little cave, and the lock starts, like, way back here. So uh, I needed something with a reach. I had to wait for some technology to finally emerge. And Lockpicking Lawyer and I came up with a couple of prototypes. I'm hoping that this will reach up in that body far enough we'll be able to get it picked. Um, it does work beautifully. It is a brand new lock. They sell for about 75 bucks. Uh, they're not shimmable. It's a positive lock, a positive locking mechanism. So anyway, there's what your key looks like. So it is a very nice disc detainer, a lot of precision cut, uh, the uh, discs looking at that key look to be pretty narrow. What I'm going to do is take and rotate all the discs clockwise, and let me look in there to make sure I didn't miss one of the last ones. Always check, because if you miss a last one, it can really screw up the rest of your picking. I think we got them. All right, let's take this guy, align the pick tip which is very thin, so I'm hoping that will help me defeat any thin wafers. Slide them in, align them, and see if I can start tension. He should fall into the gap right about, ah, oh, dang it, bad angle, but I'll take it. Before I start tensioning, I'm gonna go ahead and take the pick and work him past that wafer. Come on, get in. And I'm gonna do that because this lock has a spinner on the front and then the tensioner, and if you don't push your pick tip past that with the two of them come together, it'll pinch it and you won't be able to get him out. So I think he's rotating freely. He's all the way in the back. I'll apply a little tension and let's see if we can't get him picked. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and hopefully you guys will be able to see maybe the, the lines if I get some kind of feedback. Just be able to see where we are. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm all the way in the back. I'm gonna back the pick out slowly until I feel the first wafer or the last wafer actually and there he is. And he's moving pretty freely. So I'm gonna push him back. I keep backing the pick out until I find the next one. And he also is moving freely. I'll push him back. He's free, keep moving. He's free, push him back. This one's binding, oh, no it's not. Yeah, he is. Barely. Let's keep looking. This one is really binding. Let's, let's work on him. So a little tension. Wow, there's a lot of crunchiness in there. there. Must be a handful of sand in there. And I didn't get anything from him. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him back where he belongs. Let's keep moving out and see if anybody else is binding as well. Come on. Whoops. That's not what you want to hear. Uh, come on, you're stuck a little bit on, oh. There we go, now he's rotating. Must have got stuck between the wafer. Here we go, we have a binder up in the front. Nice click on him. Now let's move down to the next one. He is now binding solidly. Nice little click on him. I think we're in the gate, let's keep moving. As long as they keep binding for us, that tells us that the lock is collapsing from this end. The, the sidebar is falling down from one end, which is how I like to pick these things. I like to force it. Okay, that one is iffy. I'm going to leave him alone again. Let's check the next one. He is binding, so I think that previous one was all the way forward. Nice click. Oops. Another oops, Bill. It's a good thing I'm not a brain surgeon. Having a little trouble positioning on him. There we go. I think I'm solid now. I fell off twice. There, I just fell off again. Get in there. Come on. He 
he's binding, but he's not falling in the gate yet. So let me check the previous one, the one right before him. He may not be in the gate, not, which wouldn't allow that bar to fall. So let's rotate him. He's got two clicks, and I'm not sure if that's a false gate or it's just a rough wafer. He's still binding all the way around. No gate. So let's check the previous one again and see if he's got another rough spot. Same thing on him. So I'm going to go back upstream. And there we go. So it was that third one up from the bottom that was being a devil. Anyway, guys, there you go. The the Bell Sports Catalyst 750. That didn't take very long. So I'd like to use this as an opportunity to do a little bragging. I just passed a major milestone. A lot of you guys are new viewers and you're not aware that um, I've been giving away stuff. Four giveaways every week. And I just gave away the 1,000th pick set last Friday. Uh, the giveaways will continue. And the way that it usually works, you go to our, the website, locklab.com, right there it is. And there are four places you can win. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. On Mondays, I always give away one of these guys. This is the South Ord BPXS, call it the Pagoda Kit, an outstanding collection of rakes, very popular with new pickers. So this will be the con this will continue to be the giveaway every single Monday uh, until further notice, until something better comes along. The next thing I give away, on Wednesdays, I give away a Sparrows tuxedo, but that's going to change now because Sparrows has come out with some new stuff, and I like to keep up with the times. This is the Sparrows Nightcrawler. I just reviewed this not long ago. A tiny little kit, little spines on that thing. Comes with five top of the keyway tensions. It's a great little kit and really small. Fits right in your front pocket. Barely makes a bulge. That'll be giveaways on Wednesdays from now on. And on Fridays, in the past, I gave away a Tuxedo Royale, also from Sparrows. They also came out with something new. They came out with this guy, and this is called the Dark Shift. A lot of similar picks with the Tuxedo, except this one comes with a Sandman and some of the newer profiles, as well as a complete set of the Flat 5 Top of the Keyway tensioners. Uh, tensioners. So this will continue to be the giveaway every Friday. Saturdays are usually review days. I review some kind of lockpicking gear if I can get it, and then I usually give that away. That'll continue, and believe me, guys, I couldn't do this by myself. While a good portion of this does come out of my pocket, I get a lot of help from patrons, from uh, um, PayPal donations, and guys that push that little join button down there and commit for five bucks a month to offset some of the cost of paying for this stuff, mailing it out, and trying to grow the lock sport community. That's really what this is all about. Anyway, guys, if you want to register for some giveaways, go to the website, and if you see something you're interested in, click on that day and register. With a little bit of luck, my webmaster will randomly pick your name as the big winner. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.